technical safeguards are becoming increasingly more important due to the technological advancements in the healthcare industry today. As technology improves, new security challenges emerge. Healthcare organizations are now faced with the challenge of protecting electronic protected health information, or EPHI, from both internal and external risks. To reduce risks to these health records, covered entities must implement technical safeguards. Hi everyone, I'm Maria from eTactics, and today I'm going to talk about the five HIPAA technical safeguard standards. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Also hit that alert bell icon so that when we post new helpful content, you get notified. The security rule defines technical safeguards as the technology and the policy and procedures for its use that protect electronic protected health information and control access to it. The first standard under the technical safeguards is access control. It is defined as the ability or the means necessary to read, write, modify, or communicate data or information. Access controls provide users with rights and or privileges to access and perform functions using information systems, applications, programs, or files. Access controls should enable users to access the minimum necessary information needed to perform job functions. Four implementation specifications are associated with access controls. One, unique user identification. Two, emergency access procedure. Three, automatic log off. And four, encryption and decryption. Hey, sorry guys, I forgot to add one of the standards into this video, so I'm doing it in post. The next standard in the technical safeguards section is audit controls. This standard has no implementation specifications. The audit controls standard requires a covered entity to implement hardware, software, and or procedural mechanisms that record and examine activity in information systems that contain or use electronic protected health information. The security rule does not identify data that must be gathered by the audit controls or how often the audit reports should be reviewed. A covered entity must consider its risk analysis and organizational factors such as current technical infrastructure, hardware, and software security capabilities to determine reasonable and appropriate audit controls for information systems that contain or use EPHI. And now let's get back to the video. The next standard in the technical safeguard section is integrity. Integrity is defined as the property that data or information have not been altered or destroyed in an unauthorized manner. Protecting the integrity of EPHI is a primary goal of the security rule. The integrity standard requires a covered entity to implement policies and procedures to protect EPHI from improper alteration or destruction. There is one addressable implementation specification in the integrity standard mechanism to authenticate electronic protected health information. The person or entity authentication standard has no implementation specifications. This standard requires a covered entity to implement procedures to verify that a person or entity seeking access to EPHI is the one claimed. In other words, this standard ensures that a person is in fact who he or she claims to be before allowing access to EPHI. This is accomplished by providing proof of identity through methods such as passwords or PIN. The final standard listed in the technical safeguards section is transmission security. This standard requires a covered entity to implement technical security measures to guard against unauthorized access to electronic protected health information that is being transmitted over an electronic communications network. Covered entities must review the current methods used to transmit EPHI in order to determine what security measures need to be implemented. Once these methods of transmission are reviewed, the covered entity must identify the available and appropriate means to protect EPHI as it is transmitted, select appropriate solutions, and document its decisions. This standard has two implementation specifications. One, integrity controls, and two, encryption. If you'd like to learn more about HIPAA security rules, reach out to eTactics, and you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.